Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Take a look at this. Fact, New Hampshire's population reached 1,402,054 on July 1st, 2023. That's an increase of 24,500 since April 1st of 2020. So, where did most of them end up living in New Hampshire? And you may be surprised with one place. Uh, here's a New Hampshire map showing New Hampshire's 10 counties. Coas County in blue up at the top had the smallest gain in population under 1%. Stratford County and Hillsborough counties in green had a population gain of between 1 and 2%. Grafton, Sullivan, Merrimack, Belknap, and Rockingham counties in gold had a population increase of 2 to 3%. And Carroll County in red took home the prize with a population gain of more than 3%. So with me to describe what did and didn't cause the population growth in the state is the person who did the research. The senior demographer at the Carsey Institute of Public Policy at the University of New Hampshire, Kenneth Johnson. Welcome. Nice to have you Hi, here. Hi, Fred. What caused these gains across the state? Well, migration caused all of those gains. Most of it migration from other parts of the United States into New Hampshire, but there was a modest amount of immigration as well. Yeah, and, and migration, and the, the one county that stands out is Carroll County with the most growth, even though right. it's not that much more still. Carroll County, what's happening in Carroll County? Well, Carroll County is a recreational and amenity county. It's like similar counties in other parts of the United States, and yeah. all of them did quite well during the period since the, the 2020 census. And their growth was fueled by migration, primarily domestic migration from other U.S. destinations. Mostly from New England, uh, perhaps? Right. The largest single place would have been Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, you found that uh, thousands more people moved to New Hampshire uh, than left it. Um, how much was COVID a factor and remote uh, work were a factor in that the last few years? COVID certainly was a factor. Uh, in motivating people from large urban cores to move to less urban places like New Hampshire. Right. Also, we believe that fewer people left. In other words, the people who were, would have traditionally left New Hampshire mm -hmm. were less likely to do so because of, the, because of COVID. So it's a combination, and especially in a place like Carroll County, that, that influx of people, many of whom might already have had second homes there, and could work there from their second homes rather than from their primary residence. Right. And you also point out that deaths exceeded births. Right. So this is the other side of the story. There were 6,600 more deaths than births in New Hampshire since the 2020 census. Now, New Hampshire was already experiencing natural decrease before mm -hmm. the 2020 census, but it's become worse now, and nine out of the 10 counties in the state have more people dying in them than really? before. Really? That's amazing. Uh, the Chambers of County in New Hampshire's northern, uh, Chambers of Commerce in New Hampshire's northern counties, they keep promoting parts of their state because they tend to lose people, especially younger population, right. to the other parts of the state or they go out of state. And they're trying to keep their businesses uh, healthy up there. Mm -hmm. What is the, what, as a demographer in New Hampshire, and you've looked at this state from every direction for years, how is the North Country going to prosper economically in terms of population and businesses going forward? I mean, is there, is there any uh, secret sauce here? Well, certainly having high quality internet service is an important element in any area's ability to stay <clears throat> growing, especially in a remoter area like up north. Yeah. Uh, better highway communication, better highway and transportation systems to the area would be an improvement, for example, Highway 16 could be improved up into the North Country. Yeah. So that would be another factor. Now, the other question is whether people were working remotely, are some of them going to say, hey, I like this well enough that even though I may not earn as much here, mm -hmm. it's worth the trade-off to stay in a small community where everybody knows everybody and right. in a comfortable place. Right. Looking going forward in the next uh, five, ten years, what do you see happening to New Hampshire's population? Well, I think as COVID diminishes, hopefully diminishes, the number, the excess of deaths over births will probably diminish somewhat. But because New Hampshire has an older population, it's likely to continue. I think New Hampshire will continue to receive an inflow of migrants as well, and that the migration will be the primary source of growth for the state. Ken Johnson, senior demographer at the Carsey School of Public Policy at the University of New Hampshire and professor of sociology. Thank, Thank you, you very much.